It doesn't seem logical that ice could form on the intensely hot surfaces inside aircraft engines, but it has happened, causing loss of power and control during flight. To better understand the physics of this phenomenon, simulations of high-altitude icing conditions were run inside the state-of-the-art propulsion systems laboratory at the Glenn Research Center. These tests allow us to better understand ice crystal icing in turbofan engines. And what that's going to allow is for industry and researchers to help improve aviation safety uh, for operation in inclement weather. And this engine was actually installed on a flight test aircraft where they were measuring the cloud and engine data and they had captured all of that for us. So it was really um, helpful in setting up our facility and understanding how to calibrate it and where to start our inaugural testing sort of test envelope. Here, a series of horizontal spray bars unique to this engine test facility help duplicate engine icing conditions. Well, for the very first time, we're gonna demonstrate ice crystal ice formation in a full-scale engine at altitude here at NASA Glenn Research Center. The test simulated the formation of clouds and their ice crystals, their ingestion by an aircraft engine, and reduced engine power that can result. In this facility here, we generate the cloud with a series of spray bars, and this gives us control over both the total water content and the particle size. What we can do here is essentially simulate flight through an ice crystal cloud at altitude. Glenn's Propulsion Systems Laboratory is the world's only engine test facility capable of recreating flight conditions up to 90,000 feet and speeds as high as Mach 4. Data produced here should help improve the safety, performance, and operability of new and existing commercial aircraft engines.